So in this video, I'm going to go over a demo of how you can import or scan files using Site Capture, process them, and route them to your box repository. So I've set up two different demos. The first one, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and bring in scan files. So I've got my SideGen folder. It's blank here uh, in, in my box repository. What I'm going to do, this particular demo, is, uh, is set up to, uh, to simulate a, a law firm mailroom. So I've got incoming documents. I want to scan them, extract data, make them searchable PDFs, and then route them into box in a nice structured manner. So in this example, let me go ahead and pick my, uh, my capture workflow for these process transmittal documents. And uh, I've got some pre-scanned docs. I'm not going to run them through my scanner. I'll go ahead and pick this uh, this particular document. And note with the product, you can pick an individual file, multiple files, or as I'll show you in the next demo, you have the ability to actually pick an entire directory structure. We'll ingest the docs, process, extract data, and then wrap them into the backend system. So let's go ahead and pick one of these sample sets. And I'll go ahead and, uh, and start the import process. And you'll see as they come in, one of the challenges with these documents is the file number can be anywhere on the page. So using SciCapture's uh, uh, expression matching and data extraction engine, we'll go ahead and pluck off the file number from all these different bits and pieces of correspondence. And let's go ahead and move through the process. So in this example, it's going to go through indexing. We're going to use apply the pattern matching, extract the data um, while we're actually doing the OCR process. And then once site capture is complete, what it does, it pops into QA view. So now in QA view, I've got a nice pretty spreadsheet uh, layout with a row for each document and the data that's been auto extracted. Now I can get a lot more complex. I can actually bounce this data off a database. Uh, to do lookups and bring back additional information or, or validate the information uh, against a pre-existing data store. So in this example, I'm done. We'll go ahead and uh, click complete. It's going to go through, convert these to searchable PDF documents, and then route them into my box repository in a nice structured manner. So it's done its OCR, it's done its uh, bits and pieces, and if I open up box, let me go ahead and kick off my uh, my sync. You can see it's it's synchronizing my documents, and then uh, let's go ahead and refresh the website. And if I refresh, you can see that file number that I extracted automatically. We automatically build a folder for each file number or case. So now any additional cases that are scanned or processed. Uh, documents for those cases will get routed and dropped into those folders. And then within that folder, I've got a nice uh, searchable PDF. And uh, if, I, if I had the uh, enhanced version of Box, it'll go ahead and crawl the full text, and I've got full text search capability. So it gives me some real power um, to take paper, take file cabinets, process them, and put them into Box and have a really useful repository. So that's the first example. The second example is one that we use quite often. Um, we've got a lot of customers that use this feature. And just about everybody today has large scanned file repositories on file shares. And the real challenge is how do you pick up those documents, extract data, make them searchable, and then put them into the repository in a very structured um, manner. So in this example, I've got an HR files directory. And uh, you can see that my folder is empty. And what I'm going to do with Site Capture is use the document harvesting capability. So this harvesting capability lets me point the product at a directory structure. It'll go through the whole structure, pick up image files, extract data from the folder file name, as well as the OCR text, and then route that information to the backend system. So I built a custom demo for this one. So my box HR demo. And you can see here, if I look at my directory structure, I've got this box HR folder. And then within the folder, I've got directories for different end users. Okay, So I've got the, a Joe, a Teresa, and an Evan folder. What I'm going to do is choose to select by directory, click on my import, kick off the process. 
And site capture is going to go through and automatically harvest all the documents from that directory structure. Now we're going to do something a little bit fancy here. Um, when I click done, we're going to image process these files. Some of them are older files, so we're going to remove speckles, deskew them, despeckle, and then we're going to pass them through a classification process. So in this example, we have a fixed set of HR documents. We're going to look at patterns throughout the document and automatically identify them based on the text that's included in the document. Okay. So once again, I'm going to kick into my quality assurance view. And if you take a peek within quality assurance, you can see that the employee name was automatically extracted based on the folders okay, within the HR directory. And then I went through and looked at the OCR text and auto-classified the documents into a particular uh, document type. So now when I click Done and click the OCR process, it's going to go through, it's going to recognize these documents, once again convert them to searchable PDFs, it's going to custom name them, as well as build folders in my box repository. So it's a nice, easy way to take pre-existing, scanned, or digital documents, process them, and put them into Box um, with metadata. So if I open up my interface now in Box and I go ahead and do my refresh, what you'll see here is now I've got a, a, a Joe Teresa and Evan folder that's been auto-built. And then if I click into those directories, you can see that I've created searchable PDFs from TIFFs I've automatically built my file naming structure okay, with the, the name and the classified document type. And then once again, these are um, searchable PDF files. So if you have enhanced box functionality, you can go ahead and crawl these and have full text search capability. So that's a quick overview of the uh, site capture product and how you can integrate it with Box and use it to do some, some really nice things with not only scanned images but also uh, imported images as well. If you have any questions, shoot a note to sales at scigen.com. Have a great day.